Toffolo getting help from Dominguez. Dominguez wins it. And Forrest have it again now with Mangala, who gives it to Nico Dominguez once again. And it, oh, he tried to switch it and it hit uh, Sangare and it's freed up for a low shot into the bottom corner for Lucas Paquetar. Dreadful start from Forrest. Three minutes in, West Ham are in front. And Paquetar, the Brazilian, capitalising on Nico Dominguez, the Argentinian's mistake, as he tried to play it across his own half. He was looking far side. And it hit Sangare and bounced really kindly for Paquetar who from inside the D stroked it low into the bottom corner past Odysseus who's beaten for the first time as Forest keeper and West Ham in front three minutes in for Elanga to control Elanga faced by two drops it back for Dominguez now Toffolo with the cross back post oh, oh, oh what a, a fabulous save. save absolutely brilliant save from Alphonse Ariola from a one yeast header at the back post and West Ham scramble it clear and Forest will get themselves a throw that was superb from Forrest. It was even better from Alphonse Ariola diving away to his left, one-handed, somehow has managed to palm the header away from Awanyi and claw it out of his goals. And now here come West Ham, they're three against one, and into the penalty area it goes, and it's Paquetar, who this time is well marshalled by Murillo, who got back superbly well and just did enough to put off Paquetar, and he scuffed his shot straight into the arms of Odysseus. Murillo might have hurt himself in getting back. He stayed down. He had a long way to get back, but he did just enough to get a little challenge in on uh, Paquetar. I don't think it was the challenge. He's then actually slipped. He might have gone over on his ankle a bit. He's going to go right-hand side, but instead changes his mind, goes left. Why not? Give it a Langer, who's up against Sofal again. Oh, he's nutmegged him. He's straight past him and then crosses tamely straight into the arms of the goalkeeper. Couldn't find the end product, Anthony Langer. Kurt Zuma, put under pressure by Dominguez. Forward to Kudus, it's played. A strong challenge from Mangala. And then he and Sangare come away with the ball. Sangare oh, forward to Gibbs-White. Gibbs-White is through, inside right channel. Yes! And then Awanyi, after the save from Ariola. Awanyi puts in the rebound of Forrester level. Lovely ball by Sangare to release Morgan Gibbs-White. Inside right channel. And Gibbs-White shot across the face of Ariola, who saved low down to his right. Got a hand on it, but couldn't hold on to it pushed it out right into the path of Taiwo Awanyi and Awanyi back amongst the goal scorers with his fourth of the season in the last minute of normal time at the end of the first half Forrest equalised against West Ham he's onside when Gibbs White hits the shot that would have been the check from VAR and the referee being surrounded by West Ham players at the moment and a couple of Forrest players are in there as well right hand side for Sofal and now Jared Bowen, Bowen jinks in between two and into the penalty area, sends it across the six-yard box and Odysseus gets to it very, very quickly with Emerson, the left fullback, lurking on the edge of the six-yard box and Odysseus got hold of it and then bowls it out down the right-hand side and Pakitar gets back to dispossess. Here's long downfield as uh, Forrest try to catch West Ham on the counter. A one wow. oh, it's a brilliant oh. touch to lay it off to his left for Alanga. Gives it back to Awanyi, oh. now Alanga. Shoot, back to Awanyi. And Awanyi, oh. oh, left-footed, drags his shot wide of the target. Oh, it was brilliant between the two of them, right up until the final moment. And Taiwo Awanyi on his left foot from about 12 yards out maybe not even that inside left channel just to the left of the penalty spot drags it wide great opportunity ball breaks for Emerson Emerson towards the edge of the box he shoots just wide of the target across the face of goal and it's away for a goal kick only just Elanga on his bike down the left hand side back gets Edson Alvarez to try and hold him up Elanga still going towards the edge of the box hits the shot, blocked, spins off for Gibbs White he hits the shot Ooh. which fizzes just high and wide of the angle better than a corner from the left hand side James Ward Prowse goes for goal and it's onto the roof of the net there's a lot of football for a lot of the players out there. Here's Sangare from Mangala's pass. Turns into the West Ham half and gives it all to Aina, who's on the overlapping run. Aina trying to get into the penalty area. Pulls oh, it back to the penalty. Yes! Aina beats it 
first time, it's a brilliant goal! Elanga hits it low into the corner from the pullback from Ola Eida and Forrest lead 2-1, 18 minutes into the second half. A goal has been coming in this second half. The question has been, which way is it going to go? It's gone to Forrest, it's gone to Anthony Elanga. Forrest lead by two goals to one. A brilliant pullback from Ola Eina down the right-hand side. Mangala to Sangare, Sangare to Eina. Eina hit the byline, pulled it back to the penalty spot, and there was Anthony Elanga. Again from the left-hand side, right-footed, in-swinging, goes high, back post, headed in. Goal, 2-2, West Ham level. Straight away, West Ham on turns, it's Jared Bowen. And it's a peach of a corner delivered by James Ward-Prowse. And West Ham send the ball forward. Oh, it's headed by Ola Eina back across the face of his own goal and then they've hit the crossbar. 2-2, Ward-Prowse takes the free kick back post. Oh, good save, Odysseus. Header came in from Bowen, headed it into the ground. And Great save up, stretched the hand of Odysseus to turn it over the crossbar. I think, probably, if that goes in, they're offside. Still There's a great save. And then Bowen's header from a corner made it 2-2. Here's another corner. Ward-Prowse takes, headed. Oh, it's gone in again. It's 3-2. Header at the back post. It's Thomas Socek and West Ham are in front with two minutes remaining. West Ham three, Forrest two, Bowen's uh, Ward-Prowse corner again, and this time the header is at the back post, and Thomas Socek. Now for Toffolo as well forward, Toffolo's cross, picks out Wood, Wood digs it to uh, Divock Origi, Origi Ooh. shot, oh, Ariola tucks it over the crossbar, Origi from the top of the D, smashed it towards goal, and Ariola tipped it over, and it's another Forrest corner. Yeah, pressure's building, top of low cross, good set from Chris Wood.